a fossil so well preserved that it looks like a statue, is being unveiled today at a museum in Canada. The 110 million year old notosaur fossil, dubbed the four-legged tank was discovered by a miner in the North American nation. And the find has been described as being so rare, it's comparable to winning the lottery. The armored plant eater is the best preserved fossil of its kind ever found, according to reports in National Geographic. It was found by Sean Funk, when he was digging at the Millennium Mine near Fort McMurray in northern Alberta, Canada, on March 21, 2011. He hit something which seemed out of place from the surrounding rock, and decided to take a closer look. The fossil he uncovered was sent to the Royal Tyrell Museum of Paleontology. They spent the next six years working on uncovering the beast within the 2,500-pound, 1,100-kilograms lump of earth. After all that hard work, the finished result is now ready to be unveiled, and it reveals how the ancient creature used scaly armor to defend itself. Speaking to National Geographic, paleobiologist Jacob Vinther, from the University of Bristol, said, it might have been walking around a couple of weeks ago. I've never seen anything like this. The fossil is a newfound species of notosaur, which lived midway through the Cretaceous period, between 110 million and 112 million years ago. The creatures were around 18 feet, 5 meters long on average, and weighted up to 3,000 pounds, 1,300 kilograms. It featured two 20-inch long spikes, which protruded from its shoulders. The researchers believe that the disarmored plant eater lumbered through what is now Western Canada, until a flooded river swept it into open sea. But the dinosaur's undersea burial preserved its armor in exquisite detail. The fossilized remains of this particular specimen, are so well preserved that remnants of skin still cover bumpy armor plates along the dinosaur's skull. As Michael Greshka wrote for National Geographic, such level of preservation is as rare as winning the lottery. The more I look at it, the more mind-boggling it becomes. Fossilized remnants of skin still cover the bumpy armor plates dotting the animal's skull. Its right forefoot lies by its side, its five digits splayed upward. I can count the scales on its soul. Caleb Brown, a postdoctoral researcher at the museum, told the writer we don't just have a skeleton. We have a dinosaur as it would have been. The researchers say it may even have more to give. Its skeleton, for example, remains mostly obscured in skin and armor. However, reaching the dinosaur's bones would require destroying its outer layers. CT scans funded by the National Geographic Society have revealed little, as the rock remains stubbornly opaque. The exhibit will now form part of the Royal Tyrell Museum's new exhibit, Grounds for Discovery. Visitors will explore the personal stories and exceptional specimens that have been discovered as a result of the museum's collaboration with numerous industries such as housing and road construction, mining, wind turbine development, and oil and gas. New discoveries and a new species of dinosaur will be revealed, it says of the exhibit.